hi it's december 13th day seven um so it's monday officially more than seven days out from my hip arthroscopy surgery and let's see from a physical pain perspective doing pretty good left hip is a little achy right hip is starting to get sore i think just from all the extra work it's putting in so right hip and glutes and leg is a little bit sore um so jumping around on that has gotten me sore there um the numbness that has kind of slowly started to go away since the surgery um, is starting to go away in the left leg. So um, during the surgery in the past couple videos, I talked about it being distracted. So the legs were pulled out of the sockets and that made for some numbness and that also caused some of the sciatica back pain. Um, but after the first day, the numbness was mainly limited to just the thigh area and it's inch by inch started to go away. So now the numbness is almost completely gone. Maybe just a little bit of tingling around the surgical site, but that's it. So things are feeling pretty normal. Um, let's see, back pain kind of woke me up this morning still. So I'm still kind of anxiously waiting for that to go away. And yesterday and today I had a headache. So that might be a side effect from the medicines. I don't usually get a lot of headaches, which I'm very grateful for. Um, so they're pretty noticeable when they do happen. And um, hopefully that doesn't continue. But after I took about an hour and a half nap after work today, the headache did go away. So it could be fatigue related too. Um, so the headaches were a thing. And um, what else happened? I did work for like five or six hours today. So I worked from bed. Um, it was pretty good. I was way more concentrated than last week. Last week working was a total fail. I think I talked about that. I was just couldn't concentrate with the narcotics and just tired and in pain, but I was able to concentrate a little bit better this time and got some work done. What else? Between that and then mentally and emotionally still a little bit drained. Um, some other things going on. So still a little bit tired from that perspective so i wasn't able to motivate myself to do my exercises the way i should the ankle pumps and quad flexes and glute flexes so i'm going to do that before bed um on the other hand i am proud of myself for reading some of my book because that was another thing i thought i was going to do all last week but the narcotics just wow kicked me in the butt <laughs> so um catching up on my book a little bit let's see um, I, I, it's been eight days without washing my hair now. It has like come full circle and is no longer greasy. And the, <laughs> the dandruff has started to go away. So that's interesting. But I have my post-op appointment tomorrow. So should be going to that. And hopefully he'll take the bandage off and say I'm good to take a shower and bathe and everything. Um, let's see. I got about three days left on a couple pills that I've been prescribed to. So yep, I have three days left on the omeprazole, which I believe is um, acid reflux. Yep. And then three days left on the endomethacin, which is the um, super anti-inflammatory that causes the acid reflux that I need the reflux medicine for. Let's see, I'm seeing another five or six days less on the aspirin. So between those things, I'm kind of moving along with, with the prescriptions and yeah, feeling pretty good about them. They haven't torn up my stomach or anything. I was only nauseous one day after taking, last week after taking a pill on an empty stomach, but learned my lesson and that was it. So yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Um, also went over to my mom's house for dinner tonight. Got a cute picture of her cat that I'll post after this. Um, that's it for day seven. Plugging along.